Hello, I'm going to be reading The Amazing Ben Franklin, The Spalding Reader by Sarah Lapsley and illustrated by James Koenig. It was Saturday. I want to go for a bike ride today, Laura said to her father. But my bike pedal is broken. Dad looked at the bike. A bolt is missing, he said. We can fix it in my workshop. Dad liked to fix things. He had many tools and machine parts in his workshop. There was a small stove in the corner for cold winter days, too. An old-fashioned pitcher hung on his wall. Who's that? Laura asked. Benjamin Franklin, Dad replied. He lived a long time ago. He was an amazing person. Besides helping to found our country, Ben Franklin was an inventor and a scientist, Dad explained. He always wanted to know how things worked, and when, then he figured out how to make them work better. Many of his inventions are still used today. <clears throat> In fact, I can see six things that Ben Franklin invented or improved, starting with my glasses, said Dad. These are bifocals. The top half helps people see things far away. The bottom half helps people see things that are near, such as newspaper print. Many adults need help seeing both ways, explained Dad. That lightning rod, the lightning rod, was also Ben's invention, Dad said. Having a lightning rod on a house reduces the chance of lightning damaging the house. Here's the third thing, said Dad, holding the grabbing stick he uses to reach things up high. Ben Franklin made one of these so he could grab books off a top shelf. That's very useful, said Laura. Ben also invented a new kind of stove, like mine here, explained Dad. This stove uses less fuel and makes more heat than earlier stoves. It is still called a Franklin stove. That's amazing, said Laura. What else can you see? The mailbox, said Dad. He didn't invent mailboxes, but Ben was our country's first postmaster. He improved mail delivery. Dad screwed a new bolt onto Laura's bike pedal. All fixed, he said. Thank you, said Laura, but what's the sixth thing? It is the odometer on your bike. This measures how far you've traveled, said Dad. Ben made a type of odometer for postal workers to measure their routes. No wonder you have Ben Franklin's picture on your wall, said Laura. Dad said, Yes, it's a great reminder that if we are practical and resourceful, we can almost always find a way to solve a problem. The end.